I get questions from time to time how this Morris engine works for the drivetrain so I thought I'd do a short video to show how this works. The shaft comes out at the double reduction gearbox and it comes out the shaft comes out the center out of the double reduction gearbox on the Honda engine. I go through the joy coupling and I have a fan here cooling the transmission. There is a sprocket on the end of the shaft with the idler here for adjustment and that goes down through the deck. As it goes down through the deck If you can see, there is a pedal block bearing on each side of the pulley. You have a short shaft that goes into a universal joint on each side. From there, you go through a spline. It's a half inch hexed spline this matches this the hex shaft just floats between these two universal joints from there it goes into the gearbox as you can see over there same thing at the back as it goes into the gearbox That universal is locked onto the gearbox shaft. You have a helical gear on the axle that fits on the helical gear at the top of the gearbox. And that turns the axle. From there, you have a chain that goes from the axle sprocket to the other axle sprocket. This one has the same thing. You have the axle sprocket. It goes through a Durlin, it's a white plastic block for an adjuster to keep the chain tight. And then it goes to the sprocket on the outside axle. As you can see, the gearbox has a anchor welded to the frame through a hole and this is a, a bolt that's welded. There's a nut welded here and a bolt stuck up through the anchor with a piece of rubber hose around it and it's two nuts welded to this flat metal which is bolted to the gearbox. This keeps it from torquing and turning and rotating. So you have to have a good anchor on the end of it. On the end, on one end of it here you have to have an anchor. So both of them have a the anchor. So I hope this helps to understand the drive shaft.